What's going on guys, Culprit here, and welcome to episode 27, which means day 27 of my Timber and Stone Let's Play, season 4. Uh, you can see here I've got a lot of work queued up. Uh, as you know, I left you, we had a dirt storage. I was kind of able to remedy that yesterday a little bit, and now I'm in the process of finding dirt. So a couple of you guys actually suggested, and you're right on target with what I plan to do, stripping away some of this dirt around the wall. You can see that I'll kind of get me some nice dirt reserves. And if I have to, I mean, I I'm kind of thinking I might need to, or it might be wise to just strip all the dirt out of here at some point and just refill it in with stone, especially these lower levels that I'm going to backfill in over. I'll rip these out put stone over them, build everything up. You know, I'll do my terraforming with raw stone because I have 5,500 of that. Uh, we'll see, because this is going to be a big project. I don't even have a rough wall complete yet, and I'm running out of resources, which is a problem. One of the other things I'm thinking about is instead of having a three deep of brick wall, I will probably use cobble in the middle of it and just kind of wrap it in brick. Won't be as fire retardant as I intended, but it should still be plenty strong, and I think that should be fine. Maybe if I do that, I'll make it you know a four block actually I'll, I'll do up a demo for you a four thick wall basically one brick two cobble and one brick deep and then capped off with all brick again to try to thwart any fire but before i get too far in i'll give you a tour in a second but what i wanted to do is we are welcoming two new names and let me just find them real quick Oh, let's see. Two guys that have been commenting a lot for me, so I want them to you know, move ahead and get some new faces in here. Mr. Captain Crunch been offering some great advice in the comments. You were one of the guys that uh, you know, suggested stripping away from the wall and things like that. Uh, great job. Thank you for your feedback. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. You are a miner. Uh, again, I just kind of choose these guys as random. Um, so you are going to be working hard, man. Thank you very much for the support. And next will be Dale Hurt as well. You guys have been giving some really good uh, comments and feedbacks, uh, feedbacks, feedback in the comments. And I do appreciate that. I appreciate the support. Welcome aboard. You got the lucky straw of being infantry, the, the infantry that I have been training up for a while now to uh, kind of go out and attack things. On that note, we have a new citizen as well that we got after. We got them overnight. Name is Ismay. Uh, I was already trained up in infantry. I already have him going up. He doesn't have very good traits, lazy and disloyal. I'm torn here. Uh, I might. I'm going to train him up in infantry. I, I debated doing minor, because I, obviously I need I need some manpower, big time. Um, if I get a new migrant with better resource or traits, I will basically I think it's a strong back. I think is what, what we want. Isn't that what he has? Strong back, and and maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll literally race them, <laughs> and we'll see how that works out. Because I think strong back, you're able to move faster with a bigger load, and that's something that would be important. For, especially they're, they're going to be my wandering kind of military. So there you go. We got a new migrant. That what did I say that was? I forget how many migrants it was. Nineteen, something like that. Day twenty-seven. I think nineteen citizens. I got some storage issues. I'm going to have to remedy. So over here, you can see I'm, I'm trying to. I don't know. It's it's hard to get guys to come over here and stay over here. Yeah, dude. All right, you just fill. All right, come over here. Finish this up. I'm trying to get that. If you remember, this is a big hill over here. I'm trying to dig out the. The sand, or the the stone. I'm putting sand in again because it just looked terribly ugly. And again, I, I spend quite a bit of time, as you guys do if you're watching, staring at this stuff. So I kind of wanted to I hear weird noises. Unfortunately, I have to have the sound down while I'm recording, so I, I get very paranoid. So I'm just trying to put some sand in there so it looks nice, it looks uniform. But you can see here, I'll give you a quick little tour. Uh, all right, the the the, the game's. Uh, Pause. I'm just gonna kind of. Oh, nice. Here we go. The miners are coming now. Here's theory, guys. I don't know. Uh, my food uh, storage is capped. I'm at 4,400 food. I'm getting migrants now. I got one overnight, one now. Uh, what do we got? Bad vision and clumsy. So he's just gonna stay minor. That's perfect because I got the. I, I don't like to have bad vision on my soldiers. I, I, it's you know I like their length of vision. To, unless I'm understanding that wrong, tell me. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for. Iron pickaxe, food, coal, ladder. All right. I think ladder's broken anyway. Um, coal's always good. Definitely can accept him. Definitely can use more migrants, like I was saying. So these guys are going to train up. These guys are going to be my two-man killing squad. They're going to patrol the, the, the roads. Though we don't seem to have much of a problem right now. Pretty, pretty secure, secure. Maybe that's why I'm suddenly getting these guys. Um, I'm going to put some focus back here. Obviously, I'm trying to build up brick, too. That's 94. I'm still trying to get the towers up here into at least just kind of some sh shape. But, man, I, I'm going to have to, at some point, get get off of these. And, you know, uh, what I probably should do now, yeah, I'm going to have to do it, is, is this core of the tower. I'm just going to fill in with cobblestone. 
you know, I'm, I'm wasting a ton of assets on these now. I mean, these things are way, these are over-engineered. I'd like to do it that way, but I don't want to get to the end of the project and li literally not have the dirt to finish. So that's a concern, obviously. But you can see here, I, I've trenched all the way around. I've, I've dug back from the wall, because I was going to do that anyway. Remember, the wall's going to come in three blocks at least, maybe four, like I just said. So I'm going to be doing all this eventually anyway, so I just was going to do that. One other thing, so right now my priorities are to get some get some dirt built up, obviously. That's a priority. I'm going to double speed this so the episodes don't go too long. Um, that, I want to get a, a wall going, a decent wall, at least probably, let's say, three, four high. A single layer is fine. And I want to get a uh, a lip on it to stop spiders. I want to focus on being spider-proof as best I can because I feel like a matriarch right now. It could be bad news. I am building a bit of an you know an infantry or military, which is good. Uh, but I don't. I, I just I need all the manpower I can get. Um, and I'm going to focus on a real mine because you know I'm I'm low on iron. I'm low on certain things I need. Uh, to build steel and, and weaponry. But that's what this little spot is here. I'm going to dig this up. I'm going to build kind of a little little tiny cave entrance to the mine. I dress it up a little bit. And then we're going to dig down and we're going to start a proper kind of branch mine uh, going on. And seeing if we can't get some resources in there so that we can get a better intake coming and basically get to undermine everything under here. And then like I've, I've mentioned a lot of times, try to get all this storage stuff. It's going to be a slow process, but try and get all that down below. What are you? You are a miner. Yes, come out over here, please. No, over here. Alright, I don't mind you guys actually doing that, but let's just, I'd like to get these guys done over here so I can get rid of this bridge and I don't have to, so I always have it in my head. I'm like always kind of watching this, this little area over here because obviously it's, it's vulnerable. I have a guard station there, but that's fine. So I've kind of finished out the front a little bit. You guys can see that these guys are training, which is great. I, I need to get another halberd, obviously. So yeah, the big thing was like the, oh, oh crap was the dirt shortage. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I've never had that problem before. I always have just like thousands of dirt. The problem is that dirt's filling up my storage. That's always been my problem. So it's kind of crazy to me to see. Are these all full grown? Actually, it looks like they might be. Okay, so let's chop these up. Always use, can always use some... Uh, let's just get rid of all these minor... Yeah, I need to re that's always going to pop right back. I always am looking to get rid of dirt, and that was just kind of the way I went. So it just kind of gives me some perspective on how big a project this is. Kind of insane, like I said. But it's kind of cool, though. I'm excited because uh, it's just a grand project. And while starting that, I managed to not like lose a lot of people and things. I think I've only had one death, right? Um, I have to think about it. I think, yeah. Um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. That makes me feel so bad. He, uh, Goblin Archer. Just can't think of it. But one death, I think, is all I've had. So even if I were to make like a cemetery, maybe even make that out here. Kind of a nice little spot out there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, wouldn't be much right now, which is great. Great, great, great. So, but we need to keep moving because while we're in a good spot and we're kind of ahead, I did smelt the gold in the ore. Let me show you guys here. Gold 13, silver 32. That is all of my ores. Raw. I think that, I mean, I might have some more back now. One and one, yeah. So, uh, smelted that all up. That was going to be, I was going to say my theory. I think I got sidetracked on the new migrants. Uh, perhaps that has something to do with it. Uh, the fact that I smelted all that and, and my colony kind of got richer and more luxurious and, and things is why I'm now getting some new migrants suddenly. Uh, that, that could definitely be part of the reason why. And so I'm just trying to hustle along. I mean, I, like I said, I feel like I've focused so much on these towers. I've neglected other areas, and I'm just kind of, I've been getting away with it. And I just, I, I got this feeling, God, I hope I'm not predicting the future here, that like the, the, the clock is going to strike and I'm going to be screwed. Great. So I'm going to have to find some sand from somewhere eventually. Uh, am I going to get it somewhere natural? I mean, I can always just kind of, I don't want to go like over here. I don't want my miners walking around too much, but I can just steal pieces there because I don't need a ton of it. Actually, I think some of that's sand there too. So, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to today. My, my kind of my mini little priority is to get this done, so I can stop worrying about that. That'll be fine. Where is my builders? They're over here building this. Oh, they're building up the tower. That's fine. I actually have some brick too. Fifty-seven. Like I said, I think I'm going to stop building this. I'm going to do the brick on the, the outer 
and I'll probably fortify it a little more towards the front again thinking fire and then the last couple the last two layers will probably brick but right here right now like this stuff right here yeah I mean clearly let me just stop this right now there's no reason to have this uh, brick too just not needed I'll go over that over the night and then set it up for like two two bricks thick of this and, and then I'll fill it all in with cobble save myself some some issues there uh, I'm gonna have to make up some cobble so we'll just go cobble move that to the top because that should actually make faster so hopefully it'll speed this up as well let's move that to the top we can make some cobble that doesn't take as much uh, dirt and stuff so to help me replenish the dirt I'm almost up to a thousand dirt so I should be okay with dirt at, at least in the, the, the near future but let's just get all this done okay so I mean we're in a good way I just I feel a little precarious as some of you guys have had to you know I haven't really gotten to build much I'm still in this defensive phase and it's just kind of have this feeling like I need need to get moving a little bit um, I might get this guy out of here. Clean up this whole front as well. I guess I never did finish that. Just so that, that that's kind of what it is. There's like so many half done. Ooh, nice. Are you serious? Another migrant. That's three migrants in like half a day. So I, I've got to say, it's either one or two things. Like we mentioned, the 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 smelting of all the resources. I mean, you guys can draw your own conclusions. Uh, or it is hardworking, disloyal, overeater. I'm going to put him... Uh, food's not a problem. I was going to send him out to be an infantry because overeaters, I like to go and risk them getting killed. Um, it's nice to have him infantry, too. Nice. But I'm going to make him a miner just because, again, I need I need the mining manpower right now. We could always change him to infantry if we need because, like I said, I'm going to eventually have this build, build this up and start that proper mine. So I'm going to want to have, like, three or four guys down there mining for materials and minerals as well as my normal crew that's going to be, I mean, I, I have to literally keep, like, all this still has to keep going down. I'm going to kind of slowly mine this stuff under here and make the wall proper. Going to get some nice dirt from there as well. And then you can see, I got to go all the way around here. Back. There, there's a lot of digging to do. So I'm going to need a lot of manpower. So that's why I'm putting a lot of it there. And, you know, they're not lost. I'm mining. They're, they're not going to be killed or anything like that. So what are you standing around for? Because I don't have any stone or sand. That's why. Yeah, that's that's pretty much why. So I'll let you finish here. I will have to go around at some point and find all the minerals and things. Yeah, these guys are getting all killed. I don't have fieldstone either. Is that what's going on here? I don't know how. Uh, I have fieldstone. Did I not set fieldstone to build? Thought I did. All right. So my uh, this is just the road over here gonna have a road on each side that turns off right behind the you know uh, basically the idea here was uh, intersection here roads going each way I was gonna have a barracks built right in here obviously the guards and everything were gonna live there I'll have the mining entrance over here kind of utility stuff and then down along here is gonna be shops and houses and stuff and then down this area I'll have another split street I was gonna put a big actually where the farms are now which is kind of silly Never didn't really think that through on the first day, but eventually I will have to move these farms. And I was gonna put a big like church-like town hall building here. So as you walk in, you walk directly towards that. This this was the center. I don't know if I ever mentioned that or if you, you started watching. Like this was the center of my circle that I used to draw the wall. So it's not the center of the city, obviously, because the center the circle would have kind of extended out into the water. I might move that up to about where I have it now, more centrally located. But maybe not because I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. And then basically the idea here was to have again a proper wall here, uh, and then have piers out here, like wooden piers, which that's going to take some time because obviously it would take a lot of wood. Let's take a look over here, show you guys the craziness that is this side of the. There's a lot of guys floating in the air. It's kind of weird. He must be conjuring them up, and they're getting bugged out. I don't know. I, I'm still like I just don't even know what I'm going to do with this side of the map. So. St Still lots of wolves and things over here, but it's mostly skeletons at this point. It seems like the goblins eventually worked their way over here and get killed. You can see an archer there, that kind of stuff. I, I try to delete them as I see them just to kind of keep the lag down. But there's still plenty of stuff over here. Oh, that's right. There was a chicken over here, wasn't there? Let's take a look at this, see if my uh, herder will come over and get that chicken. 
She should be able to make it. I just don't know if she will. Uh... I keep getting this feeling like while I have this bridge open, I was going to have her. Let's just move her over there, see if she'll take the bait and go get that chicken. That would be very nice. Always take more chickens, even though I, I like. Actually, this is probably pretty stupid to be honest. I should make that like that new citizen my new herder. And have yeah, you know that's not a bad idea because the herding skill doesn't matter there. Yeah, where are you? Who are you? Oh, you're on it. Who's the new one? What was the name? Yeah, he will do. Herder, go get that chicken for me. This way, if you die, it's not gonna bother. And if she starts walking there, I'll leave it. But she seems like she's busy enough. So hopefully he'll go. He'll go get that chicken. So if he dies, it's not the end of the world. I don't think he will. But it's not the end of the world, and I don't think there's a skill to going and getting chicken. I've only seen them ever just go and grab the chicken and bring it back. Is this one seemingly done? Yes. I don't want that. I do want to pay attention to where this guy goes. Not you, I don't want there. I want you... So gonna come over? I don't know. I don't know how to like initiate them to do it. He should go over there. Should do it. You guys, can you just mine this one and finish out here? At least the mining will be done. You guys, go get the other stuff. I mean, you're tearing it up and you're getting me, getting me dirt, which is great. I just want to keep an eye on this guy. I mean, I said grab another chicken, but I mean, if you look, I have 78 feathers now. I have 360 arrows. I think you get two arrows per feather, so that's another 150. I mean, I got 500 arrows, so I'm, I'm good on arrows. Uh, I should, theory, I mean, honestly, once I make these two guys that are going to patrol so they can watch each other's back, and I think I can set them to guard each other, I'm going to focus on just uh, archers. And, and frankly, what I should be doing is taking, like, my Jewettes, who's my, my infantry guy at the door, my, the gate, I should train him up in archery so that he can he can help defend the wall. No, 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 get the chicken. Is somebody going to get the chicken? I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be nighttime. It's going to send my big good herder over, and that's going to drive me nuts. She's asleep, though, isn't she? Where is she? No, where is she? Oh, she's in there working. So maybe I'll just give her some help for a little bit. I don't even care about that much about these chickens, honestly. It's like more risk than it's worth, but it's like I can't not go try to get them. It's kind of silly, I know. Oh, dude, come get these. Give me some sand. I think this is... Yeah, this is all sand here. Whoa. Holy frames. Alright, so one of my builders needs to come over here. Now, what is good? One of the good things is... Oh, this builder got nice. That I do now have... The front gate's pretty well manned. I mean, I have, I have two guards. I have that kind of stuff. So I don't have to constantly be watching over here. You know, it's, it's kind of... No way to turn. There we go. I don't think there's any cost to that. Um, I always have guys here. They're always manning here. They're always watching. They have vision. So if someone approaches, I'll be alerted to it. So I don't always have to watch the front gate anymore. That's only like a, a recent development for me. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, go get... Alright, whatever. Do I have enough sand? How much sand do I have? Not much. And I need a lot of it. Alright, that's going to be a concern. We'll see. We'll let them... Actually, I can dig this sand up over here. This will help me out. God, I don't know what's up with my mouse. It might be dying. It's like driving me crazy. You can see like, I'm misclicking all over. I think it's some of the lag of the game right now. I'm getting decent frames, but definitely lagging a little bit. Alright, so these guys have nothing to train on. Uh, you're supposed to be building that. That's fine. Build. Fieldstone. Don't have enough of that, so I gotta queue some of that up. So that's gonna be the road. Queue up. I, I, I'm just, I'm a queuing madman right now. Oh, gosh. Just trying to get the road built, because then, like I said, the roads gonna extend over here, and then over in this area here is going to be 
where I'm going to put that little mining shed. I'm not sure. I might have to start using some of those up. So what I do want to do, though, since this is all... Yeah, build. Jeez, jeez, jeez. So much to do. So much to do. It really is a management sim. I mean, in essence, that does, that's what this game is. So let those fill those in. I have them dig. Excuse me if you heard my phone. I have them dig all this out. If I'm going to just... If I'm just going to put a little pile of rocks there, I'm going to get the dirt out of it first. So, Alright, so they have dug most of that up. That's great. So now I just need to take in some sand so that they can... Let's just get that out of there. I'll put, a, I'll put a raw stone in there quick. With that builder, I don't know. So there's so much going on. But I'm, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. So you see where I'm going here. I'm digging. I'm up, I'm up to 1,300 dirt, and I've got quite a bit of dirt. I'll probably push like 2,000 dirt by the time I'm done around the wall and stuff like that. Two or three thousand. So I'm okay on dirt. It is a long. Wow, that's four guys. That's fantastic. Four migrants. I, I you probably won't convince me that this isn't because I, I smelted that gold and silver. So there you go. I mean, my hit, my tip to you on this now it would be. If you want migrants and you have a relative level of security, go ahead and smelt all that stuff and you'll see a seemingly a nice pickup in migrants. Four migrants in one day cycle. That's pretty good. Uh, I think that's getting us like 22 citizens or something. I'll have to check. I'll tell you in the beginning of next episode. No traits in the sky. I'm going to keep minor as well. Actually, yeah, shoot. I have that. Let's just check in and see if this chicken's over here. If anybody ever went and got him. Uh, I don't see him. So somebody seemingly went to get him and I didn't get a death notice. I staring right at him. You guys are probably yelling at me. Nope. So it seems like somebody did go get him. Which is great. Now, where is this guy? I can go back to mining. I think, yeah, I mean, the, the stone trough is, as long as the stone trough's full, I'm okay. What is her skill? She's got to be up there now. Yeah, 19 hurting. That's awesome. So there you go, guys. We're, we're doing great. I mean, for, like, this guy right here, what I should be doing. Because he's going to go out and patrol. So, Jewett's, what is he actually? Is his... What is he's got no traits. So I should have a bow in his hand and he should be over here training. I don't want to do it while these guys are mining though, so I'll wait until they're done there. Um, and I should be multitasking. you know, the, the prison, the guard, the castle guard guys should be able to shoot bows too. Because this way if a matriarch does come, I could take Jewettes and pop him up on the wall. And that's one guy one more guy firing. One other idea that I'll tell you guys, I'll bring it up in the next episode too, but you guys have stuck around. Somebody suggested it's a pretty good idea. I think it was actually Jewettes in the comments. Building a bit of a platform here. And building a javelin so I could fire a javelin over here and hopefully get a couple lucky shots, maybe thin this out, maybe hit the necromancer. It'd be one heck of a shot. Let's see what this is. Um, how the hell do you do this again? Um, no, I don't remember how to do this. Oh, seed scrap. There we go. Uh, that's irony. It's not bad to build the ballista, but what I'm, that's right. What I'm worried about is. The ballista bolt, which is wood log and iron. So I need some iron. If I can get, you know, when I start this proper mine, if I get a decent influx of iron, I could definitely see doing that. Maybe as I'm building my bridge over, I'm getting there. I mean, probably at that point it would make more sense just to shoot some arrows. But just as some fun, it might work. Maybe I'll build a, a tower over. I, I will actually end up building a tower in this corner. And I'll put a ballista on it that can take a, I said a javelin before, didn't I? Take some shots at it, take some pot shots, maybe we can pick it off, thin it out, and maybe we can even hit the necro, that'd be pretty cool. So that's going to wrap up episode 27, day 27, I hope it's not too dark for you guys. It's another mission for me is to start building some lights around here so you can see better and I can record at night if something interesting happens. But thanks so much for watching guys, thanks a lot for your feedback as we hit a couple of these snags, you guys gave really good feedback. Welcome to Captain Crunch and Dale Hurt to the colony, I'm going to add some more as we go, I have a little tentative list, just waiting to see as people come to comment and, and give me feedback better uh, i would edge in because we saw we just got a nice influx of i probably got six or seven citizens that aren't named yet now so thanks for watching guys have a good day i'll talk to you soon take care